Hi everyone! So in this video, we're gonna talk about Pag-ibig and PhilHealth. They're both government institutions, but are they really the same? If you're invested in Pag-ibig MP2, I wanna drill in and talk about the differences between Pag-ibig and PhilHealth. So if you wanna know more about this, you wanna drill in, you have to check this video out. <music> Hi everyone! So, over the past months, I've been talking about Pag-ibig MP2 that we have so many videos popping up here where I talked about how amazing it is that it's giving you tax-free returns, that your capital is guaranteed, and the dividends that they have been giving out have been beating what you could possibly get in time deposits, corporate bonds, some preferred shares, some common stocks that are giving out dividends. So, the returns are relatively good and you can have passive income for life if you do it well, but it could also give you compounding interest. However, over the past uh, few weeks also, a lot of you guys have been sending questions about PhilHealth and its relation to Pag-ibig. And as you all know, of course, Pag-ibig is connected to the government. PhilHealth is also connected to the government. Pag-ibig, uh, especially for an employee, you get to remit money from your salary there and PhilHealth is the same way. My goal here is to show you uh, data so you also get to study it and analyze it properly. Please, similar to the stock market, similar to bonds, similar to business, similar to everything that I've been talking about, whatever I say here, please study it, please research it, use it as a reference point so you get to decide what you're supposed to do with your money. And also, I want to mention this, by no means this is a political video, by, by no means this is a political poster. So many people posting videos on YouTube focusing on PhilHealth. My goal here is for you guys. The whole 135 plus thousand subscribers in my channel that are into investing, that are into making their money grow. I want you to have a sense also that if you are investing in this, is this still something that is good enough for you? And as what I've been doing, the videos have all been predicated on your questions. This question is from Lily So from Bangkok, Thailand. Hi, Mr. Guapong, Guiding Light, Erwan Yusuf, Counterpart, Stock Expert. This is Lily So. And I'm currently in Thailand right now, and I've been inspired by your Pag-ibig MP2 videos, your REIT videos, your technical analysis videos, actually all your videos. Think there's a reason why you have one of the biggest stock market channels in the Philippines because you're so good. My question though is not connected to stocks, but Pag-ibig MP2. I've been investing in MP2 for quite some time now, and I've placed a large sum of money there. I have seen news reports on what's happening in PhilHealth. I just want to know your thoughts on this. I know you don't rec you don't comment much on politics, but maybe you can give us your thoughts if we should be scared of our investments in Pagibig MP2. Hoping to hear from you, sir, because sir, you have truly been a guiding light to all of us. I totally agree, sir, with the other letter sender that you deserve 1 million subscribers. I'm sharing your videos to Pinoy's and I keep smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm and I hope you get there soon, sir. I am a proud, not-so-silent subscriber. All the best. Lili so, Bangkok, Thailand. Thank you. Pero feeling ko, sinasabi niyo lang yan kasi yung pinakamalakas mong bola, yung letter niyo yung nababasa. I'm gonna show you a couple of points, but please do your research also so that it points you toward the right direction on what's happening to Pag-ibig MP2. Because at the end of the day, as an investor, everything that you put your money into will always have risk. But as an investor also, your responsibility is not to be scared of the risk, but to study it so you can manage it. Now, number one is I want to mention that Pag-ibig has a transparency seal brought about by Republic Act 10651. Every time I say that, no, I'm legit. Every time you say Republic Act 10651, I sound so legit, no? So anyways, I'm gonna put the link of that transparency seal in the description below and you can click that so you can run through it. But it's also overlaying here right now, it's running up and down here so you can actually see it no that from the website of Pag-ibig the transparency seal is something number one that's mandated by the government but if you look at it here it shows everything from the annual report the financial statements the balance sheets per year so you have almost 14 plus years worth 
of data. So think about it. I graduated 2005. So you have data up until 2007. I was just new into the workforce. All of the financial records have been there. So I think that's one of the advantages of this. Everything you need to know. And it's audited also. Then you, if you scroll down, you'll see a couple of these things also from your budgets, major programs that they've done all the way to 2011. Then the status of implementation of programs, evaluations of assessments report. And this is also important, their procurement plan and other contracts that have been awarded. So it's very, very transparent. No? All the way down, you will see so many uh, bits and pieces of information, which uh, is very, very distinct to pag big something that's uh, owned by the government. So you can just click through. Everything here is clickable. No? So you just run through each of the financial statements. And if you really want to have a firm conviction, if it's good or not, I highly suggest that you go to the site and you start clicking and you start also researching because at the end of the day, uh, you can watch my videos, you can be excited about it, but iba yung excitement, iba yung conviction pag kayo mismo nabasa nyo. So after this, I highly suggest, aside from also smashing the like button, you also smash the website and you start to read and you start to learn. So that's one. It has a transparency seal. I think that's very, very important for you also to know that Pag-ibig is very, very transparent on where the money is going. Next, this is something that's so important. Very, very, very important. Pag-ibig, the capital savings, is guaranteed by the government. You can research on RA9679. So what's interesting about that is whatever money is placed there, the government has to guarantee it and it's mandated by law similar to a retail treasury bond that whatever the government borrows they have to pay it back so in the same way whatever money you put in to pagibig they will guarantee it they will pay you back it's something that's mandated by the constitution of the philippines that you will receive the money that you have placed in and that's the guarantee here's what's so interesting uh, thank you so much, Lisa, for Pag-ibig also for supplying this to me. Pag-ibig does not get any funding from the government. Please remember that. I repeat, Pag-ibig does not get any funding from the government as compared to other government agencies where their budget basically comes from taxpayers' money. Their budget comes from whatever gets approved by the Senate. So, please, I'm not an expert on the law, but that's what is currently going on that the money that Pag-ibig would basically have is basically part of contributions when they loan out money people borrow money for houses there's interest on it and that's what they use also to become profitable so i think that's their underlying difference and another thing is that Pag-ibig is a government controlled corporation which they function as a corporation similar to what BCDA is also doing. So number one, I repeat, Pag-ibig has a transparency seal, RA10651. The capital savings is government guaranteed, RA9679. Guys, ah, memorize nyo to para pag may Zoom meeting kayo, may kwentuhan kayo, did you know that by RA9679, Pag-ibig is guaranteed. O, diba? Dami yung baon, mukha kayo matalino. Kahit hindi kayo guapo, basta mukha kayo matalino, pwede na yun, diba? Lalo na pagkarap mo yung crush mo, sabi mo RA9679, legit yan, you look smarter. So number three is this. And for me, this is so interesting also because what makes Pag-ibig different is there are career officers inside the company. The reason why you get to become an officer, a manager, supervisor is because you have tenure and you have experience. So another main difference is that all of the officers there are career officers with the only exception of the chairman which is the chairman of the Housing and Urban Development Coordinating Council, which is appointed. Uh, the main difference with that for PhilHealth is the CEO of PhilHealth, the one who's running it, is a political appointee by whoever the president is at that particular point in time. Similar to BSP, majority of the people who are running BSP are career people, meaning they were from BSP, they rose through the ranks, and they did what they could to climb up the ladder. It's a very, very... Uh, I guess merit-based system as compared to uh, the prevailing team in what people regard uh, to what's happening in the Philippines. Number four is, and you can research this now, it's not part of what I'm showing you, but the funds have been very, very stable since the 1980s. So you can look at the transparency seal which will show you financial data 
up until 2007. But I think there are other records also where you can do research on how the fund has performed since the 1980s. So that's very, very interesting also because if you look at the whole business model of Pagibig, it's housing loans. So meaning, if you look at the other video that I posted about uh, Pagibig's earnings, I, I posted in that video that Pagibig made 22 billion pesos. And part of that 22 billion pesos of revenue that they got were from socialized housing, meaning low-cost housing as well. As long as there's money coming in and the money is managed well and it's transparent, I think it has a better logic that it will not run out of money as compared to what people are fearful about. But again, please, don't just take my word for it. I hope you do your research so that your investment is not just affected by what you hear around you, what the noise is, what everything, what's going on, but you get to decide based on what the numbers are saying and based on what data is also saying. And lastly, I want to mention this. Management is good and safe and have also been awarded by COA, the highest award. I want to show this. So this is one of the things that's showing here. Uh, it was an award given to them and you can also research it. No? Uh, but specifically says here that for 2018, they've been getting the highest COA opinion for seven straight years already. It shows COA's opinion on them, on the way they allocate their funds. As you all know, COA is one of the watchdogs checking different uh, government institutions on how money is allocated. But if COA is giving them the nod, then it's something that is very, 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 very good. For the seventh consecutive year, COA has granted Pag-Ibig Fund its highest opinion on their financial statements. So it's another milestone year for Pag-Ibig. Alam naman, if there's problems in certain agencies, uh, it normally gets seen and hit and also screened by COA. Here's my suggestion. If you're a bit fearful, you're a bit anxious, it's very, very important to notice, and this has been my style even in stocks, even in Bitcoin, even in businesses, even investing in startups. Please, every time you invest, every time you put in money, only put an amount of money that tanggap mo kung maging zero, you will be able to sleep well at night, you will be at peace, you won't be so scared. So your contributions, whatever lump sum that you put, it should be an amount that you're willing to part away, that you're willing to risk it. It's very, very important. Second, you must diversify. Don't put all of your eggs in one basket. That's why if you notice it, I'm the stock market guy. I'll talk about stocks. But as I talk about stocks, also I've been telling you to diversify US markets, Singapore markets, common stocks with dividends preferred shares. Above and beyond that, I've been talking about treats. I've been talking about bonds. I've been talking about corporate bonds. Because at the end of the day, those are all assets. At the end of the day, those are all items that will help you diversify. The problem is if everything is just there, if it flops, then your finances are hit. But if you have other sources of income, other assets for you, if one, two, three gets hit, you will still live on, you will still be okay because you have other assets that will work hard for you. It won't totally wipe you out. So please remember, only put an amount of money that you can accept if it goes to zero, you diversify. But I'll say this over and over, you need to have cash. Cash is still king. You need to stockpile cash because cash is a position. Okay lang na hindi siya kumita. Okay lang na hindi maganda yung puntahan niya. Okay lang din na hindi talaga okay yung pinaka magiging uh, result niya or even though it loses out to inflation or it doesn't give you a good rate of return. But it gives you hedging. It gives you peace of mind also that even though yung iba yung investments may not do so well, your cash is there to protect you. Even though the investment is quote-unquote risk-free, there will always be risk attached to it. That's why it's so important to be knowledgeable that you know what you are getting into. You know the possible risk and reward that's there. So if you think the risk is not for you, then better not invest in that at all. Kesa be blinded na, pwede akong kumita dito eh. Every time na inisip mo lang na pwede ka kumita doon, and you're not thinking about the risk, that's one of the best ways for you to massively, massively, massively lose money. So it's very important, wherever you are, kung pinapanood mo tong video na to, huwag masilaw lang sa pwede mong kitain. Alamin kung ano yung mga risk, kung paano pwede mawala yung pera mo. Because if you know what the risks are, you get protected. If you know what the risks are, that if something bad happens, at least alam mo, you're mentally set, you have the capacity and the understanding 
to do what you need to do with the investment. Yun. Sorry, I forgot that this should have been a Tagalog challenge. Nag English ako the whole time, but I hope madami pa rin kayo na intindihan at I hope na katulong to sa mga tao na medyo na papa isep, medyo a bit anxious. And if you want more clarity in this, I know there's still a lot to digest, there's still a lot to talk about. Please, very, very please, put it in the comment section if you have any questions. Also, put it in the comment section if there are other things that need further explanation in this. And I'm gonna try also to interview people from Pagibig so that we can have more clarity. What you can expect from me after this is there will be an interview with someone from Pagibig. Please put everything, all of your questions in the comment section. And I'm gonna try to make and ask as much of your questions as possible. And for you, Liliso, thank you so much for sending this. I hope that this is something that added value to you. If you guys learned a lot from this, appreciate it. If you could press the like button, share, subscribe this. I hope that madami Pilipino matuto dito kasi feeling ko kailangan siya matutunan ng bawat Pilipino. Sa mga gusto matuto sa stock market, I have five books in the description below, all available in Shopee. You can order them and it can be sent wherever you are in the Philippines as long as Shopee has coverage. Links are down below for all of my online courses, Chinkitan, Shamsi, and the basics of investing and the markets if you want to learn more about the markets you can click that if you want to invest in u.s markets links below for eToro. if you want to know more madami akong links basics of the stock market technical analysis fundamental analysis we have playlists also below in the description uh, i hope madami kayo natutunan i hope natulungan kayo ng video na to i hope nagbigay din siya ng clarity kung nalito kayo lalo dahil sa akin uh, so, pasensya na pero i'm doing my best also this is a different time this is a different era that there's so many issues going on but I really do hope that uh, in spite of the issues that are going on uh, you still never give up that hope is so alive in you that you keep on pushing that you keep on hustling that no matter how sad things are you never stop moving forward sometimes sometimes it doesn't matter how fast you are eh? you can you can be as slow as you can but as long as you keep on going I know this is for someone eh? Please remember this. Sa panahon na to, na everything is changing, everything is shifting, everything feels so different. It's so important that kahit mabagal ka lang, sobrang bagal ka lang, as, but as long as you're moving forward, that's still better. Never stop, never surrender, never let what you see around you destroy you, never let what you see around you destroy your hope destroy your peace destroy your joy because we will get out of this and as we get out of this we will come out bigger better stronger so by the way two channels marvin germo and stock smart stock investing made easy all in the description like share subscribe and marvin germo i hope this video helps you trade well trade strong trade smart see you all again soon guys and god bless you all